Hi, and welcome back. I'm real excited to take you on an interior tour of this 2008 Monaco Camelot that we have in stock. And as you'll be able to see as we enter the coach here, this coach is just in excellent condition. It was uh, very well cared for. I think it's just a fantastic coach. It's a great floor plan. As you can see here as we've moved inside with the two slides on the main part of the coach, there's a lot of room in here. It'd be This is a coach you can live in. Just really enjoy the, all the space that it has to offer. We're going to talk a little bit about this corner desk here. You can move the lounge chair there, an ottoman, out of the way and you can bring in one of the small chairs from the kitchen table to work at the desk or you can work from this leather chair. It's got trays here for pen and paper. It's got a slide out keyboard tray here. It's a great spot to set your laptop and set up a little workstation here in the corner. We're going to move the recliner out of the way here so you can take a moment and look at all of the storage area. Here there's a full length counter that runs along the edge of the coach. There's storage underneath it, lots of places to put things for extended stays out on the road. Here we're going to move over to the dinette and show you it. It does slide in when the coach is retracted and it does move back out. Notice the cabinets underneath it and the shelf space above it. There's all kinds of places to store stuff on this coach. It's like you just keep discovering more and more places to store stuff as you move around in the coach. Here we're going to show you the different lighting levels that are available on this coach. I think Monaco does a great job, a lot like Renegade does, of allowing your lights to be at all different levels to set the moods, whether you want reading lights or just overhead lights or really bright lighting. Here we're going to move over to the refrigerator and freezer. It does have an ice maker in the door as well as fresh water in the door. There's a shot of the mirror in the main living area. All of the cabinets are solid hardwood. Here's the brains of the coach right there. It's kind of the command center, if you will, of the coach. This is where you're going to find temperature controls, electrical control panel right here on the Magnum Energy Controller. This is for your auto generator start, and we actually have an Advantage video that we've made that walks you through that. This shows you the status of all of the other energy uses on the coach. It's where you can start the generator and stop it. Just about everything you want to know about your coach is going to be found right here in this control panel. Now we're going to move into the kitchen area and talk about it for a little bit. One of the first things you're going to notice is the slide out counter here, the counter extension that you can slide out and add more room for the counter. This coach has full length drawer slides as you can see from this image here that we put up. Now we're going to move up to the solid surface counter top. As you can see there's covers over the sink and the stove. This coach does have a convection microwave in it. Lots of storage up in the overhead cabinets. You can see the heater vents underneath the cabinets and here's the storage underneath the sink. Here's another shot of the full length drawer slides on it. There's a storage compartment there to store cookie sheets. Here's a shot showing the slide out counter extension in and out. There's also cabinets and storage inside of it. I think this is just a really nice feature. Now as we move around up into the living area, you're going to see the overhead storage above the sofa. This sofa does have seat belts in it so you can take extra passengers with you. The sofa also unfolds into a height of bed as you can see here in this photo. Here's another shot looking forward on the coach. Again, you can just see all of the space that's available for you. This coach does have power window slides that remote control power up and down and then there's also the privacy curtains here that you can see when you're staying uh, and you want some privacy. Here's a shot of the passenger seat. It's electric. It does power recline. You can rotate it all the way around. It'll also recline as you're going down the road. Here's a shot of some of the interior controls that are to the left of the door as you enter up into the inside of the coach. Monaco's done a good job of putting everything really easy to reach. Here's the stairwell cover. It's all powered and electronic, so when you're heading down the road, the passenger can hit this button and that'll close up so they have a place to rest their feet. Here you can see the chair in all the reclined positions. What a great way to tour America, huh? Just kicking back and enjoying it from the passenger seat. 
Now we're going to talk about some of the entertainment features in this coach. As you can see, there's a television located in the center. It also has surround sound with speakers built into the ceiling. There's plenty of room for storing DVDs and Xbox and any other thing you might want up in the entertainment center of the coach. As you can see, it has ducted air conditioning up into the ceiling. Here's a shot of the DVD player on it. You could also add a gaming station up in there if you'd prefer. Now as we move around into the cockpit of this coach, you can see everything's very well laid out. This coach has an awful lot of features that you normally wouldn't find on other coaches. It has a rear backup camera, but it also has four different views. It also has a remote control genie on it, so you can actually control the backup camera angle from inside of the coach. You can see it there just above the, that red emergency master switch. This coach does have an Allison 3000 series transmission in it, which is a six-speed automatic. Here you can see the airbag controls for leveling out the coach. Here's some of the other controls where the power shades are controlled, the exhaust brake on the coach. It's a real nice center console. Here you can see it even has ducted heater in it. it has a USB connection in there for it to upload information into the sound system on it. Now we're gonna move back into the main bathroom of the coach. As you can see from this, there's an awful lot of room in it. The cabinets in here are all solid wood. There's extra outlets in it. It's got very good lighting on it. There's a mirror over the medicine cabinet, light switch controls, water pump controls, and everything are there on the right of the medicine cabinet. This coach has a tiled backsplash, polished surface countertop, has an undermount sink on it. All of these things are things you would expect to see in a, a very high-end home, not just a luxury motor coach. Here's a better shot of the central vac plug-in as well as another heat duct. And this coach has aqua hot heating, so each heating of the, each area of the coach can be zoned heating, and uh, it's quite a nice feature on it. Here's a real nice shower in it. Uh, it does have glass surround doors on it. Also has a little seat in it so you can sit down in it. Here's a shot of the stacked washer and dryer. It's kind of a nice feature to have a washer and a dryer both. Of course, if you don't want them, we can always remove them and you'd have extra spot for linens and blankets and stuff. But on this coach, I think there's plenty of storage, so it's a real nice feature to be able to have a stacked washer and dryer. Now we've moved over to the other side of the coach into the private toilet area. And as you see, there's lots of cabinet space in here. Here's another sink in here. I think Monaco's done a really good job of giving you lots of room in the bathroom area, which is important, you know, when you're out living in a coach and you're living in it day in and day out to have a little bit of privacy from other people. It's nice to have lots of storage to keep extra towels and medicines and just incidentals that you need day to day on the road. It's also a vent fan in the ceiling there that has a rain sensor on it, tiled backsplash on it, polished surface countertops. Lots of storage underneath. Also notice the 110 outlet on the left there in case you want to plug in a hair dryer or an electric shaver. Here's where more of the electronics are housed, so they're very easy to get to, which is nice. You know, in the event you have a fuse blow or something, it's really easy. It's right at eye level, so you can get in there and do some diagnostics. Here's the shot of the shower and the sprayer. If you want to, you can use the sprayer to wash out the toilet. Now we're gonna go through this pocket door and enter the main bedroom on the coach. And you know, the first thing you notice on this coach is there's just tons of room in the master bedroom. Uh, extra storage underneath the bed if you wanna store sleeping bags or just extra linens and blankets. There's uh, two nightstands. This is the forward nightstand and drawers. As you can see, they have full length drawer slides on them as well. It's really nice to have a nightstand at the side of the bed so you can set a water bottle or a remote control or your cell phone. Here's the overhead cabinet storage over the top of the bed. Notice there's extra 110 outlets there by the nightstand. Here's the rearward most nightstand. It has full length drawer slides on it as well. You can see the double door mirrors on the closet. This is a really nice big closet, so you can hang dresses and gowns and tall things there. 
This closet also has interior lighting in it, which makes it really nice to see in there. Here's some more storage closets, a smaller storage area, another place to put linens and things. And it also has a light inside of it. All these shelves are adjustable and they can be removed if you'd like. Here's some storage bins that are over the main window in the bedroom. It has day and night shades on it. Really nice counter areas to store things. Nice place to put your foot when you're tying your shoes in the morning. It's just little things like this that just really add up to a very pleasurable stay when you're out on the road. You really owe it to yourself to come take a look at this coach. I think it's really hard to describe in a video just actually how nice this thing is until you come in and see it in person. I really want to thank you for your time today and if you have any questions on this coach, feel free to give one of us a call here at IWS Motor Coaches. And again, thank you for your time. We hope to see you soon.